the lottery. It's a beacon of hope for millions, a chance to turn dreams into reality. We imagine winning a life-changing jackpot. The possibilities seem endless. But what are the odds of actually winning? This essay will explore the fascinating math behind the lottery. We will delve into the world of probability. We will learn how to calculate the odds. Get ready to unlock the secrets of this intriguing game of chance. The lottery captivates our imagination. It promises a chance to escape the ordinary. It's a ticket to a world of luxury and freedom, but behind the allure lies a world of numbers. These numbers hold the key to understanding the true nature of the lottery. In the next section we will begin our journey into the realm of probability. We will demystify complex concepts. Get ready to see the lottery in a whole new light. Probability. It's a word that can either excite or intimidate. For some, it brings to mind the thrill of gambling or the excitement of a lottery draw. For others, it might conjure up memories of difficult math classes. But don't worry, we're here to make it simple and easy to understand. But don't worry, it's actually quite simple to grasp. Once you break it down, probability is just a way of quantifying how likely something is to happen. It's a tool we use every day, often without even realizing it. In essence, probability is the likelihood of something happening. It's a measure that ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 means an event will not happen and 1 means it definitely will. Most events fall somewhere in between. Think of a coin toss. This is one of the simplest examples of probability in action. There are only two possible outcomes, heads or tails. Each outcome is equally likely making it a perfect 50 50 chance. The probability of getting heads is 1 half or 50%. This is because there is one favorable outcome, heads, out of two total possibilities. This is because there's one favorable outcome, heads, out of two total possibilities. The same logic applies to tails, making it equally likely. Now let's apply this to the lottery. The principles are the same, but the numbers are much larger. Imagine a lottery where you pick six numbers from 1 to 49. The range of numbers and the number of choices make the calculations more complex. The probability of winning is the number of winning combinations divided by the total possible combinations. This gives us a fraction that represents our chances. Calculating the total possible combinations can be tricky. It involves understanding combinations and factorials, which can seem daunting at first. But don't worry, we have formulas to help us. These mathematical tools simplify the process and make it manageable. The formula for combinations is n, r, asterisk, n, r, where n is the total number of items and r is the number you choose. This formula helps us calculate the number of ways we can choose r items from n items. In our lottery example, we have 49 numbers and we choose six. This means we need to calculate the number of ways to choose six numbers from 49. The calculation becomes 49 factorial divided by 6 factorial times 49 minus 6 factorial, which equals a staggering 13,983,816. This is the total number of possible combinations. That's over 13 million possible combinations. Each combination is a unique set of 6 numbers, so the probability of winning the lottery with those odds is 1 in 13,983,816. This means that for every one winning combination, there are 13,983,815 losing combinations. That's a very small chance, but it's still a chance. While the odds are slim, the possibility of winning is what keeps people playing. Understanding these probabilities can help us make more informed decisions about participating in lotteries and other games of chance. While the odds of winning the lottery are slim, people do win. These stories capture our imagination. They prove that the impossible can happen. Take the story of Mavis Wansick from Massachusetts. In 2017, she won a $758.7 .7 million Powerball jackpot. Mavis chose to take the lump sum payment. After taxes, she received a cool $336 million. Then there's the incredible tale of the Lucky 7 Syndicate from Iowa. This group of co-workers won a $315 million Powerball prize in 2005. They chose to split the winnings equally. These stories, while extraordinary, highlight the unpredictable nature of the lottery. They show that luck can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time. However, it's important to remember that these wins are the exception, not the rule. The vast majority of lottery players never win the jackpot. Section 4. 
the experts weigh in. Insights from statisticians and mathematicians. Statisticians and mathematicians have a lot to say about the lottery. They understand the math behind the game. Their insights can be enlightening. Dr. Jeffrey Rosenthal, a renowned statistician, emphasizes the importance of understanding randomness. He says, the lottery is a random event. Past draws have no influence on future outcomes. Dr. John Hay, a mathematician specializing in probability, agrees. He states, each lottery draw is an independent event. The numbers drawn previously have absolutely no bearing on the numbers that will be drawn next. These expert opinions highlight a crucial point. The lottery is governed by chance. There's no secret formula or pattern to predict the winning numbers. While strategies can be fun to explore, it's essential to remember that they don't change the underlying probabilities. Section 5. Beating the Odds. Exploring Popular Lottery Strategies. Despite the random nature of the lottery, people have devised countless strategies to improve their chances of winning. These strategies range from the highly logical to the downright superstitious. Some are based on patterns, while others rely on pure luck. People often look for any edge they can find, even if it's just a psychological boost. One popular strategy is to choose numbers based on birthdays or anniversaries. This method is sentimental and easy to remember. This method limits the number choices to 1 to 31, but it doesn't increase the odds of winning. In fact, it can sometimes lead to more people sharing the prize if those numbers hit. Another approach is to use hot and cold numbers. This strategy is based on the frequency of past draws. Hot numbers are those that have been drawn frequently, while cold numbers have been drawn less often. Some believe that hot numbers are more likely to appear again. However, each draw is independent. The lottery machine has no memory of past draws. Past frequency doesn't guarantee future outcomes. The odds remain the same for each draw, regardless of previous results. Then there's the strategy of joining lottery pools. This is a social approach where friends, family, or co-workers pool their money together. This involves pooling money with others to buy more tickets, thereby increasing the chances of winning. The more tickets you have, the better your odds. While this approach can boost your odds, it also means sharing the prize if you do win. The excitement of a shared victory can be just as rewarding as the prize itself. It's important to note that no strategy can guarantee a lottery win. The lottery is a game of chance and the odds are always stacked against you. The odds remain incredibly slim, regardless of the method used. Whether you choose numbers based on birthdays, hot and cold numbers, or join a lottery pool, the outcome is always uncertain. The thrill of the game lies in the possibility, however remote, of hitting the jackpot. Section 6. Probability in Action. Simple Experiments to Try at Home. You don't need a laboratory to see probability in action. Everyday items can help you understand these concepts. Simple experiments at home can illustrate these concepts. Let's explore a few fun and easy activities. First, try the classic coin toss. Flip a coin 10 times and record the results. This is a great way to start understanding probability. You'll likely observe a relatively even distribution of heads and tails. This is because each flip is an independent event. This demonstrates the concept of a 50-50 probability. Each side of the coin has an equal chance of landing face up. Next, grab a deck of cards, shuffle them well, and draw a card. Note the card and return it to the deck. Repeat this process 10 times. This helps you see how probability works with larger sets. You'll notice that the probability of drawing any specific card remains the same for each draw. This is because the deck is shuffled each time. This is... Finally, roll a standard six-sided die 10 times. Record the number rolled each time. This is another way to see probability in action. You'll observe that each number has an equal chance of appearing. This experiment highlights the concept of equally likely outcomes. These simple experiments provide a tangible understanding of probability. They show how randomness and chance influence results. They demonstrate that chance and randomness play a significant role in determining outcomes. By performing these experiments, you can see the principles of probability in a hands-on way. 
These activities are not only educational but also fun. They can be done alone or with friends and family, making learning about probability an engaging experience. So, gather your materials and start experimenting. You'll be amazed at how much you can learn from these simple activities. Remember, the more you practice, the better you'll understand the fascinating world of probability. Happy experimenting.